Direct discharge Inland mining for copper, gold, etc., is another source of marine pollution. Most of the pollution is simply soil, which ends up in rivers flowing to the sea. However, discharges, sometimes in the form of hazardous and toxic wastes. Some minerals discharged in the course of the mining can cause problems, such as copper, a common industrial pollutant, which can interfere with the life history and development of coral polyps. Mining has a poor environmental track record. For example, according to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, mining has contaminated portions of the headwaters of over 40% of watersheds in the western continental U.S. Much of this pollution finishes up in the sea. Land runoff Surface runoff from farming, as well as urban runoff and runoff from the construction of roads, buildings, ports, channels, and harbors can carry soil and particles laden with carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, and minerals. This nutrient-rich water can cause flesh algae and phytoplankton to thrive in coastal areas, known as algal blooms, which have the potential to create hypoxic conditions by using all available oxygen. Polluted runoff from roads and highways can be a significant source of water pollution in coastal areas. About 75% of the toxic chemicals that flow into Puget Sound are carried by storm water that runs off paved roads and driveways, rooftops, yards and other developed land.